Hey folks, uh, this is Roach here. I'm out here with chickens and i um, out in the backyard. So, just thought I'd share a few things. Probably want to talk about, you know, what's going on politically. Now, generally, I don't indulge fiction. But, you know, it's a fun circus to watch sometimes. And, and a lot of you are sort of watching it intently, thinking that somehow there's going to be some revelation or some sort of redemption or some sort of, uh, you know, positive thing that comes from all of that stupidity. Uh, you know, especially as it relates to Comey, uh, the FBI, Trey Gowdy's investigation, and uh, and I'd like to, you know, talk about, uh, you know, the FBI in general, uh, and alternative universes, uh, you know, the Mandela effect, the uh, Flat Earth, uh, you know, some of the things that I've noticed uh, happening here lately that, uh, that you know, have brought about this, uh, this interesting circus that we're, uh, you know, in you know, viewing right now. The, uh, with respect to Comey, um, and the FBI in general, um, I doubt very seriously that the FBI is going to get to any place where, um, where there's going to be any kind of salvation that comes through their activity. Uh, you have to appreciate that, that they saw, uh, that they started out with a guy called J. Edgar Hoover who would get people in positions of power in compromising situations and exploit their their um, let's say lapses uh, to his own advantage and he, he was able he was able to manipulate you know presidents you know all up and down the line and and in large part, you know, the prestige that the FBI actually enjoys isn't even actually a result of uh, their activities as much as it is how the media and and Hollywood actually portrays them. Uh, I, I mean, you know, if, if I had a if I had a you know a weekly show uh, that. Um, you know, was this fantasy about, you know, how wonderful I am and, you know, what wonderful good deeds I do continually, uh, you know, all, all the while in, in, in my life I'm, you know, an absolute, you know, incorrigible reprobate, then, you know, people on the street might think, hey, you know, hey, that Roach character is a great guy, um, you know, he's actually pretty cool because, you know, uh, you know, they they stand up for the principles that I believe in, you know, because, you know, I'm watching TV and, you know, they got this, this TV show, you know, and, 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 you know, one of the shows is called Dragnet. I mean, there's a whole host of movies that, that purport these people to be, you know, wonderful, wonderful human beings and, and, and really out there fighting for you and me when, when really the opposite is, is true. And, and it's, it's very easy to see that, um, you know, Child molestation and predation, uh, you know, by these people is, is so systemic, so entrenched, so widespread, both both in Hollywood and and in in in, in governments around the world, including, um, you know, including the UN, that uh, it can't occur without the FBI's or CIA or NSA or even, you know, the people that are getting to the bottom of it, actually knowing what's going on. And I'm sure Trump is fully aware uh, of what's taking place. Uh, you know, he probably hangs out with his friend Jeffrey Epstein, you know, over at Orgy Island, where they uh, where they molest, uh, you know, uh, uh, children. And, uh, you know, Jeffrey Epstein over there probably filled him in, uh, uh, you know, uh, pretty completely with, you know, exactly how bad the whole situation is and then you have somebody like uh, Comey who you know of course has been you know working for the military industrial complex he, he's been working for central banking uh, like him and Loretta Lynch actually came up with the scheme to let uh, HSBC really off the hook with a with a slap on the hand and they're the ones that actually negotiated it and, and, and that was before he even became FBI director. So I, I doubt very seriously that, you, you know, he, he, he is a choice. You know, he, he was chosen specifically because he wasn't going to, uh, you know, overturn the apple cart 
and, and quite frankly, you know, does it need to be overturned? Uh, you know, I don't think the American public is ready to realize exactly how dangerous the people that they place their trust in actually are to their existence, because they they would have to admit that they'd made a mistake. And you know, heaven forbid that you know you know someone actually admits that they were wrong and 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 admits that you know their support of you know uh, agencies like the FBI and and the, you know the presidency uh, the judicial branch or legislature was misplaced and and you know nobody wants to admit that they were duped and nobody wants to admit that uh, they helped their enemies destroy them because you know you're not going to walk around with a stooge sign on your forehead you know nobody wants to be that i mean so it, it really takes special people to actually admit that that they'd been duped now, me, I, I, I really respect the, uh, I really respect people that say, hey, you know, I, I made a mistake, you know, because, hey, it's okay to make a mistake. We're all, you know, almost supposed to make a mistake because, you know, that's how we actually learn. But if you're making these mistakes on a continual basis and, and you're not learning anything, I, you know, I, 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 that ain't helpful in my experience. Uh, it ain't helpful in your experience either. So, so let's let, let's look at let Comey and and, and you know he, he, here he was. Uh, I mean, he was as compromised as anybody else at the FBI and anybody else in government. And, and we were all expecting him to what uh, stop it. I mean, he's one guy. Um, you know, he, you know. I don't think that there's general public support of the American people actually getting to the bottom of it uh, because they'd have to admit their own culpability in in you know the problems that that we, that exist right now uh, you, you know I mean let's just take something like deception I mean you know people I found around me uh, they operate in that mode of deception continually yet these are the first people that are appalled when a politician lies to them to get to, uh, get elected, they they somehow act like they're injured, right? And <laughs> why would you feel injured? I mean, you you do this on a continual basis. I mean, if you're going to deceive somebody, you're going to be deceived, uh, and it's going to hurt for you worse. That's just the way it works, you know. So I don't think the American public wants to get to the bottom of it. Um, so. So don't be appalled when when it's your child uh, who's abused and murdered and laying off the side of the road. Now I know that seems heartless and cruel, and and it's almost monstrous. Uh, but look, folks, if we don't stop it, seriously, it's going to keep going. You think that's bad? You think, you know, the fact that they systemically arrange, you know, government agencies like Child Protective Services across many of these states to deliberately deprive uh, 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 fit parents uh, of their children for some sort of political, you know, uh, agenda-driven reason or excuse just so those children can be turned into a system whereby they're continually abused, you know, until, you know somebody goes over the top and ends up killing them you know and then what you know probably end up in your all beef hamburgers you know that you line up and and, and buy at your local fast food restaurant uh, <laughs> you know nobody wants to exist in a world like that because nobody wants to admit that they're in hell that's it isn't it Oh my gosh, I'm such a good person, why would I be in hell? You know, oh, it's not hell. No, 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 there's, there's good people out there. There's good people in the FBI. <laughs> yeah, they're good, yeah. Anybody who works for the FBI that doesn't work to getting to the bottom of this and overturning this nonsense? I mean, finally, and, and I, I'll tell you what, what do you do when you have a society whereby their criminality is so systemic, so widespread, and so entrenched. If you want to stop it, you all just choose to stop it. I mean, put the notion out of your head that you're going to go around and you're going to punish all the people that were guilty of it. Okay? 
You know, the solution here is forgiveness and compassion. Okay? These people were confused. They were insane. You don't hold people that are confused and, and insane, criminally culpable for their crimes. That doesn't mean you just allow them to continually do that. But right now, uh, I mean, we're looking for all of these bad things and we're hoping, oh my gosh, you know, the FBI or the Department of Justice is going to crack down on these people and get to the bottom of it so that, you know, we'll be free of this, this criminal corruption. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't hold my breath on that. Uh, especially if you think that you uh, uh, being able to, uh, you know, dance at, 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 at at their folly, at their mistakes, while ignoring your own culpability in this whole situation. I mean, you know, a lot of people have to turn their heads for this kind of nonsense to happen. Okay? I mean, we are all guilty in this. And it doesn't look like anybody's really interested in solving the problem. Uh, you know, otherwise it would be solved. You know, for instance, you know, Trey Gowdy. Uh, the fact that he actually, and I believe I've seen a report that he... Uh, he took himself out of consider uh, uh, out of consideration for for being the uh, head of the FBI. Uh, he probably knows full well as anybody else. Uh, you know, my question is why is Trey Gowdy attempting to use that system uh, to solve the problem when it was that system itself that caused the problem? Uh, you know, I, I appreciate that he, uh, and I'll give him the benefit of the, the doubt that that inside, you know, he he has good intentions. Uh, you know, his methodology, of course, is, in my mind, questionable. Uh, e even more so if if we believe that uh, uh, that him being in the FBI is a good fit. Um, he is a great prosecutor, and that is not what you need in uh, in, in a in a uh, organization that is to investigate crime. They're they're not in charge of prosecuting crime. Uh, the prosecution of crime uh, really should be part of the judicial branch or the Department of Justice. Though that is the enforcement arm that actually does the prosecution. And, you know, if Trey Gowdy became the head of the FBI, they would have effectively put him in a box. And they would have ignored everything that he said, just like the Department of Justice ignored everything that Comey said. Not that Comey was really that interested in, uh, you know, uh, overturning this apple cart, because probably he and everybody else in that town uh, has, you know, dog poop smeared all over him. You know, what do you do? You come to the American people and, and say, well, you know what, we're totally criminal, uh, we're totally reprobates, we're, you know, sexual deviants. And, you know, you're just, you, the American people, you know, you all are just going to have to be okay with that. Um, and, you know, we, we've been taking advantage of you for the whole time. You've been duped. You're a stooge. And, uh, you know, you're stupid. And the American people say, what? Like, that's going to happen. Uh, I, I don't see that happening. I, I mean, and I don't see, I don't see folks like you and I actually having reasonable conversations anymore. Uh, what we do is generally uh, one group then attacks the other guy's political party or the, the groups that they support and then they attack the groups that I support. Um, you know, not that I, you know, I, I generally indulge that. I don't identify myself with any group so therefore I, I don't have to be painted with the, the activities that particular group uh, uh, engages in. Um, and that's a danger because you find yourself supporting things that are just absolutely abhorrent just because you don't want to admit that, hey, wait a minute, I made a mistake by identifying myself as, you know, this particular group. Um, you know, I, I mean, at, at some point, uh, you know, being a Nazi was the in thing to do in Germany. I mean, everybody wanted to be on board. Um, and, and then it went wrong in a hurry. Well, it was probably wrong from the beginning. And, uh, and... You know, they just kept that part about their nature, you know, out of it because, hey, that's how you lure people in. I mean, you know, you look at you look at people like, uh, uh, you know, some of the some of the more prominent, uh, you know, you know, media guys are very popular, you know, among the common people. 
And generally what they do is, you know, for several years, and see, they have a longer attention span than you do, and they can they can work over a period of five years where, you know, most people's attention span is about six seconds. So what they do is they may for a few years, maybe three or four years, start feeding you information that you agree with, that you're totally on board with. And they'll do this over and over again. And then you create this huge buzz and then all everybody's talking about it and they have great grassroots support, right? Look at Tea Party, I mean, there's another example. They have something else, they're ready to get to the bottom of it. And you know, and, and people are, are sitting here, and, you know, not only that, but you know, look at people like, like Rush Limbaugh. I mean, he was a great, you know, safety valve for all that pressure that was building up. Because now at last there was somebody saying something that I believe in. You know, and now we've, we're finally going to prevail. Yeah, that was, what, 20 years ago, you know, 15 years ago. <laughs> <coughs> you know, and then, and then what happens is something very insidious. And, 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 it go, and it's the same for everybody. I mean, it's just like right now, uh, you know, even with Alex Jones. I mean, for years and years and years, Alex Jones said exactly what people wanted to hear. You know, but people don't recognize that these guys, they have lines that they're going to, not going to cross. Right. Oh, they'll say things to a point. It'll be controversial. And they're given a license to do that. And that's why they're so popular. So anytime you see people that are like really popular or saying things that, the, you know, the common people agree with, you know, just wait, just wait, because generally what happens is that slowly they start turning and they start introducing some other things into it, you know. And, and, you know, once you start agreeing and saying, hey, you're totally on board, then what they do is they start changing, slightly changing the message. And because they have your attention, they can slowly start introducing the exact opposite. So then all of a sudden you start, you figure out that, hey, man, I, I'm supporting this. And worse, they start playing on, on psychology. They know full well that, you know, if you've been listening to this particular guy for years and agreeing it and, and, and vociferously, uh, you know, pledging your support and, and, and promoting him, then all of a sudden they turn into a turd. Then all of a sudden you're in the, in, in the position saying, oh, wait a minute, man, I, I made a mistake. I'm sorry, folks. You, you know, they, these people don't go back and say, hey, guys, you know, I made this huge mistake by supporting this guy. He, he's a rat. You know, and, and, and this is how they do. And, and, and for me, I, I just look at the people that have real widespread support and I say, yeah, OK, and they're real popular. I said, no, 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 they're permitted to say, say what it is that they're saying. Right. You know, and, and if you if you wait long enough, you wait long enough, you'll see the hook. You'll see exactly what their agenda was. But by then you're so you're you're you're, you're so committed emotionally to them that, that you'll ignore every reprehensible behavior possible. You know, that's just human nature. You know. Uh, so, and, and this has been going on a long time. You know. Uh, <clears throat> so, I, I mean, be cautious about people who have these kinds of things to say and, and, and things that you agree with. Um, you know, over time, you know, because most of them, if, if they have a, a, a large following, a large viewership, then they're given permission to say that. I mean, you and I, if if we actually make statements, if we're not in, uh, let, let's say if they don't have videos of, of you molesting children, uh, they don't trust you because they know that they can't manipulate you. Hey folks, I'm back. Yeah, I'm experimenting with different uh, video capture devices and I'm using my phone right now. And uh, yeah, so I decided to try horizontal versus vertical and we'll, we'll see how that works. I, I don't like the fact that uh, taking the video isn't native. So the tools I use uh, on the computer, they don't... Uh, <clears throat> They don't take the video format that the camera produces natively, so I have to sit around and wait for that conversion to take place before I can view what it is that uh, I was doing. So I did want to talk a little bit more about, oh, the video uh, ended abruptly because I only have a limited amount of space on, on the uh, phone, so I only got about 18 minutes of video that I could do, so, so I'll just have to, you know, stick these all together. So let's talk about... 
uh, let's talk about all of the weird things that are that are going on, certainly in cyberspace, um, that people are talking about right now. And, and specifically, I, I have a lot of people out there uh, that are sending me videos on the Flat Earth, and you know I've already talked about that in the Medicine Show series, uh, of what I feel about the... Uh, the flat earth but you know there are some other interesting observations uh, around that that I think uh, uh, are, are important to recognize and, and that is you know here I am you know for years and years there were always people that uh, that thought of the flat earth and they were always uh, always determined uh, to be you know kooks and and weirdos and and I don't mean to disparage any of these people at all in fact um, there's a way of looking at it such that it's okay for, you know, totally okay to, you know, believe whatever, whatever it is that you believe. So I, I'm not a proponent of the flat earth. Uh, I'm certainly not going to say, hey, um, it's not true. Uh, quite frankly, um, we each uh, exist in our own universe. Uh, it's a subjective universe, and we are the authorities of that universe. And we act on the information that uh, that we get, and it's incumbent on us to actually respond correctly to the you know feedback and and information that we see in our reality uh, in a responsible and, and, and way. Um, and that means you know a continual reevaluation of uh, of what it is that you're experiencing. You know how that plays into whatever model that you use to you know govern yourself. Uh, you know, to, to, to protect yourself and to uh, to enjoy, um, you know, the simulation as it exists. Uh, but what I thought was kind of interesting is that, you know, we're going along, everything's okay. All of a sudden, it, like, they came out of the woodwork everywhere. Like, there was some sort of organized uh, promotion of, of these concepts um, all, all at the same time. And I, I mean, everywhere you look, there there were videos on on flat Earth, and there were all of these, you know, uh, you know, tests and scientific uh, uh, observations, you know, uh, you know, everybody, uh, you know, putting putting all of their eggs into, you know, the absolute truth and certainty of, uh, you know, digital imagery. Uh, digital imagery isn't reliable and as far as I'm concerned based on the capacity of people to manipulate electronic media I don't think we have any business trusting anything uh, that we get in an electronic form and that probably includes uh, most definitely what you're listening to right now um, so it's incumbent on you to uh, to do your own research and make your own direct observations and but I would suggest that you know taking uh, taking electronic media as as definitively evidentiary is an error that's going to cause you suffering uh, so I, I see uh, all of a sudden I, I see people who are uh, very fervent about uh, the fact that their earth is flat I personally don't don't view the Earth as flat. Uh, I I actually uh, see the universe as just simply information being projected on a, a you know two dimensional uh, you know two dimensional uh, you know flat surface. Uh, so the 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 idea of the volume and space is, is merely a uh, a particular characteristic of the information that's being projected so that if it appears at a distance and that there's space involved that that is a function of the information not that it actually is that way and, and it's sort of like you know going to movie theater putting on your 3d glasses and, and watching the 3d movie it's meaningful because you have the 3d glasses on and you know of course you know you have two eyes so of course if you're getting information that's subtly su uh, uh, subtly different um, you know space subtly different um, 
you know, at, at a particular distance, it gives you the illusion of distance and space. So you have to realize that the tools that you're using actually precipitate, uh, you know, a holographic experience, uh, a th three-dimensional holographic experience. And quite frankly, we have no means of verifying if that that's actually that way. Oh, we certainly experience it that. Uh, I mean, we, we certainly are wandering around, but you know, th there is nothing to say, uh, th th there's nothing out there that, that we can point to uh, because w all of our experiences are subjective. So, so what does that mean? I mean it means we, we exist in a multiverse where you have your reality, I have my reality. Uh, sometimes our two realities or our universes brush up against one another and and they become very very close but they're not identical because you have uh your universe from your perspective and i have my universe from my perspective and things happen to me that don't happen to you and vice versa so that our our universes are are are, are demonstrably different and we have no real way of actually unifying that and they're supposed to be different it's a personal experience all right, so I mean, for me, I mean, I don't have to sit there and say, "Hey, uh, entertain the possibility of multiple universes," uh, because you know I see it happening. I mean, it won't, one, depending on on the way they view things, uh, could see these things, you know, uh, already there, you know, and it's just a matter of you know accepting the fact that you know, really, uh, nobody really knows for any any degree to certainty exactly what this what this thing is this this life thing so i i, I do however see something occurring uh, certainly uh you know after the 90s uh and it, certainly after the advent of the of the internet and, and that could be because we've got enough improvement in communication to really realize how messed up we are um, and how dramatically different uh, we view the universe. Um, but I don't think we have enough, <clears throat> I don't think we've evolved enough uh, to reconcile that peacefully. Um, I, I, I think that the internet, although it brought us an enormous amount of uh, communication capacity, it, it really didn't help us in any way uh, process that information or, you know, or come to a conclusion uh, that makes us very comfortable about ourselves. Uh, I, I, I think it, uh, a lot of the time, uh, a, a lot of what it did is expose a lot of the skeletons out there and uh, and a, a lot of the aberrant behaviors and, and really expose the, the fact that it, it is pretty entrenched. There's a lot of people that, that engage in behaviors that uh, 50 years ago um, were, let's say, prudently kept, uh, kept hidden from, from, you know, mainstream consciousness. Well, that capacity to keep those outliers uh, you know hidden uh, is is ending so now we're seeing who we are and we're not very comfortable you know some of us are not very comfortable with that and and you know, I, I I look at it and I say okay well, all right as long as you keep it in your universe and as long as you don't affect me directly and that's the problem they uh, some of this behavior does affect me uh, directly and 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 does d i do have a problem with it because it, it it is not something that one i would want children exposed to because i don't want my children growing up uh one being molested and abused or uh, you know uh, uh ritually abused or you know subjected to you know uh, an amount of confusion just so adults can have their way with them without being caught criminally by, you know, uh, uh, mobs with pitchforks. That, uh, you know, because when we raise our children that way, there's a distinct possibility that after we mess them up and screw them up so bad that one could not consider them sane then those people could actually uh, become world leaders. 
And those world leaders then, of course, start resetting the standard for you and I. Uh, and, and one of those standards is that you don't have anything to say about it. Yeah, I, I've seen that standard being slowly readjusted over the period of my lifetime, uh, where people individually owned, owned themselves uh, to the point where um, these groups out there uh, remained in, in their sphere. And now uh, it's basically you, you do what you're told or we're going to beat you until you behave or we're just going to kill you and get rid of you. And of course they have all kinds of psyops uh, to convince us that that's reality. Uh, I haven't seen that as reality and, and you know I'm still sitting here talking to you folks. I mean you know I don't agree. Uh, and not only do I agree, but you know, I, a lot of times I do a lot of things just to specifically irritate those people, and uh, I'm, I'm still here doing it. Nobody's put a bullet in my head, um, you know, and 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 maybe I, I serve a better purpose to them because they could just say, well, you know, hey, um, you know, he he he's crazy. If you listen to him, you're crazy too. You know, you better be careful, or you you'll wind up like him. You know, and okay, so you wind up like me. You know. Not necessarily a bad thing. So, so with the advent of, and I'm not saying that these people who who believe in the flat Earth are necessarily wrong. What I'm saying is, they have feedback within their reality. It makes sense for them in their reality, and if their universe is flat, or if their Earth is flat, um, they may very well be right. And I'm totally okay with them being right in their universe. And as long as they're okay with the fact that, hey, I could be right in my universe with the feedback that I got and the conclusions that I got in my universe, and it's totally okay. And it's no reason to, you know, um, you know, get all bent out of shape or, or I, I have no need to actually go over to their house and force it down their throat, or, you know, and I... I'm not going to make them think the way I, 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 I'm going to think. I mean, they're free to think any way they want. It's okay. I mean, we've become very intolerable with people that don't believe the way we do. That's not to say that when, when their beliefs actually start affecting me and my universe, then especially with the use of coercion or, or anything like that, then that's when that line is crossed. Okay, then that's no longer just simply a disagreement. That's actually acting on the disagreement, and we call that war. Conflict. We got a lot of that. We got a lot of intolerance. It's being bred into us. We're being conditioned to be that way. Being conditioned to respect authority. Uh, a particular presented reality, uh, largely presented by media and the television, and we're supposed to we're supposed to march to that. And if we don't, then we're ostracized, most especially by each other. I mean, these guys uh, they don't have to do anything, you know. Oh my God! Don't let your neighbor find out you think that, because you know if you do, oh my gosh, you'll lose everything. Well, potentially. Potentially lose everything. You know, you, 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 you don't want to suffer because you think that way. So you, I would change my mind if I were you. Because you know, that's just wrong. You know, my gosh. I mean, look. I mean, how long have we been dealing with this this concept of you know, hey, your God is not my God, so. You know, and my God says that I have to wear a funny hat or hop up and down on one foot, and I have to do this and I have to do that. And if you don't do that, then that's, then, then I'm, I'm afraid my God tells me that I have to kill you. You know, and that's how I get into heaven. <laughs> Sounds like hell to me. <laughs> my God does not have to order me around. Besides, um, using the word God itself is an insult. You know, any time that I think on some sort of identification or limitation on, on quite frankly, a being or a consciousness, it's just 
beyond my capacity to even appreciate. Um, and I label it or group it or start attributing some sort of human characteristics to it. <laughs> that, in my mind, is an absolute failure and a blasphemy. Um, <laughs> To even e even compare this being with any kind of corporeal existence is uh, uh, it's improper um, and, and it leads to suffering, um, you know. And you know hey, that lesson is out there for anybody who chooses to learn it, um, you know. But hey, your results may vary. If, if you need to be part of a religious conflict, then hey, man, you know, go go ahead. But you know, do that someplace else, um, and, and don't bring that shit here, because you know. You know, I'll, I'll just ask you to keep it to yourself. You know, and if you can't keep it to yourself, then I'll consider that a, a rights violation. And then, and if you keep continuing it, then I'm gonna have to figure out ways of making you uncomfortable. And I'm actually pretty good at making people uncomfortable, uh, with without actually touching them. <laughs> it's a superpower I have. Um, so. You know, I, I, there's 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 people out there that that believe that uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, that the sun has a companion and that a solar system is on its way here. Don't know that they, they also say that the Earth is is, is tilted. Um, I, I have, however, detected magnetic anomalies. Um, and, you know, these are measurable. I have seen uh, I've seen more reports of fireballs coming uh, but you know h here again uh, as far as the earth tilting I have a little fixed site right over here and I've got it pointing to uh, the North Star and lo and behold uh, every time I go out there you know it's still pointing to the North Star so if in your universe the Sun is in the wrong place for you I'm not saying that you're wrong okay your your Sun may not be in the right spot and your earth may be tilted Okay, your results may vary. In my universe here, uh, north is still north, and there's nothing going on that way. Uh, as far as fireballs hitting the Earth, uh, you know, meteorites or you know, pieces of asteroids or comets, and, and that increasing, I, I see the graph. Um, I don't know by itself. I don't think it's really compelling enough. And the reason why is this: uh, now suddenly everybody has a camera on them. Uh, so to me, and cameras in their cars now, uh, you know, dash cams and stuff like that. So I, I think what we've done is we've increased the eyes and increased our biz, uh, our attention. But I don't, I can't necessarily say that there is an increase in these fireballs. Uh, there is definitely an increase in our capacity to actually measure these things. And you know, of course, the graph doesn't show. Okay, so yeah, we only had you know this many cameras looking in the sky at this point, and now we have that many cameras and people looking in the sky at this point, and maybe the graph just simply reflects that. We can't know this. We can't know this. Uh, um, I'm not going to freak out till I, uh, till you know I, I see that directly in my experience, and I'm certainly not going to look at somebody else's digital imagery, and, and conclude you know. Uh, conclusively like some of these guys do that you know you, these lens flares or these these image anomalies or artifacts in, in, in the digital imagery um, are uh, substantive um, you know not only that I mean you know with the with the quality of CGI uh, I, I mean y you could have anything appearing in, in, in the video imagery um, and you know and that's why you know the special effects in movies I mean they, they've proved to the point where you know quite frankly it's getting very difficult to distinguish what's real and what's not so there there is this concept that I've been toying with in that there may be completely two different realities or two different distinct uh, perceptions of reality that are have actually started to come to close enough contact with one another such that each one starts affecting the other and you know these you know and it, 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 there may be something to the whole Mandela effect thing and you know because there are people that are that are saying hey you know what the, this wasn't like this uh, you know they're, they're, they're finding these anachronistic fossils now where they're saying hey well you know there, there's a device that really shouldn't be 
uh, you know, in this particular rock layer. You know, and that may not mean anything other than our our idea of, you know, the formation of sedimentary rocks may be completely wrong. I mean, you know, these, these are theories. I mean, you know, none of us are standing around, you know, quote unquote, millions of years ago, you know, watching the formation of coal or, or anything else. I mean, how do we know? I mean, we didn't even, any of you guys walked on the moon? You know, I haven't. So, I mean, nobody was around then. I mean, uh, nobody's walked on the moon. I haven't been there directly. You know, I can't even speak to it. Um, and I'm not even going to try. Uh, I mean, I can, however, speak to the things that are going on in my environment. And, 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 and you know, I'm going to pretty much keep to that. So, the, the idea that these universes are merging together... Um, and we're seeing two different kinds. I, I mean, you know, it, it may be something where, where hey, uh, you know, maybe a part of a distillation process. I mean, uh, it, it may be that hey, you know what? Um, I have I've learned. I, I've had enough suffering, and I've seen enough, uh, just based on you know uh, the traditional universe that I have been in. You know, the fact that uh, that mankind has been almost in an endless state of war, and and, and you know, we, we've really plumbed the depths of, of aberrant human behavior, um, and you know, I'm looking for you know maybe a change. Um, I've I've been able to learn from that, but you know, hey, people's results may vary. They they may need a universe that's uh, that's uh, more. <laughs> Um, interesting or, or, or suffering based uh, to, to actually get that um, you know so uh, you know maybe they need to be cyber borgs and implanted and 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 just have all of their emotions uh, attenuated to the point where they're just simply machines and just toil away like uh, like little robots and, and enjoy their experience uh, without any kind of emotion without liking it and w without any kind of growth at all uh, and, and and the pain and the and the anguish uh, of trying to escape you know something where you know not only do you have limitations of, of, of perception of the people around you but now you have limitations of you know actual physical uh, technology um, literally switching off your biological components and, and trying to surmount that it would be a heck of a challenge it would be um, it, it would be something to you know it, definitely something to experience um, whether or not corporeally that's something that I'm interested in um, I, I I think I'm gonna go another way with that I think I need that um, I, I, I need something else um, so perhaps my participation in in that, uh, is coming to an end. However, you know, this idea that we've got these two universes are coming together and now everybody from within that conscious experience can decide which universe that they want to want to go, which direction they want to go to, and then these two universes uh, split. Uh, I mean, you know, that's, that's potentially possible. I mean, you know, at some point there has to be a reconciliation for a Luciferian experiment or a Luciferian bubble, you know, and, that, and what I mean by that is, you know, if consciousness is experiencing certain things, maybe consciousness is experiencing a bubble where uh, it is totally unable, it ha has no capacity within that bubble to actually perceive itself at all. Uh, and, and that's a Luciferian, you know, where, where in that universe there is no God for those, those, those conscious expressions inside that universe. And, and that may be just fine for them. I mean, to me, that's a, that's a description of hell. And, I, you know, I don't, I don't need that. But, I mean, your results may vary. Um, Other aspects of the traditional universe that, uh, uh, that do maintain, you know, the capacity to actually disseminate, uh, you know, the, the, the divine or a, a maintain a, a moral connection. So, you know, it's just, you know, and it may be, you know, heaven forbid, I don't really believe, you know, consciously at this level, we have very little, uh, much control, but, you know, s certainly were I given the power to choose, I, I certainly wouldn't choose one where, where I, I, I couldn't go home if I needed to. Um, however, 
these things must be done by a fun uh, as a function of contract, and there must be some remedy and, uh, to 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 that state. And and and, and maybe that that's it. Is is the fund is actually finding that remedy? Yeah, you know, I found it for myself here in, in in the paradigm that I'm at, and you know others have too. Uh, but you know sometimes that full immersion is is fun. Yeah, it, it, it's fun. Um, for, for a time, um, but you know, left to my own devices, you know, egoically, <laughs> all I can do is create suffering for myself. There are uh, folks talk that talk about Nibiru or Planet X or you know whatever. Uh, you've got people that, uh, that put a lot of videos about Antarctica, which is really convenient because you know most people don't get there uh, or can walk there. So, you know, there's, there's all kinds of these weird things that are happening in places that we really can't get to. Uh, we can't verify, you know, for ourselves. Um, so, I haven't, seen, I haven't seen anything demonstrably in my paradigm uh, with respect to the tilt. Um, I have noticed an increase of UV. I have noticed the sun a little different. Um, I have uh, uh, detected, uh, you know, some magnetic anomalies, and those are the things that, that seem to concern me the most. Uh, in that, you know, I don't know physiologically. I, I, I don't know if we really appreciate uh, what may happen to us, you know, mentally. You know, us being, you know, electromagnetic machines and our brain being an electromagnetic device. You know, what happens when the Earth? Uh, you know the the magnetism of the earth fluctuates or changes you know rapidly or or goes away i mean can we still function can we still can we still uh uh see things uh, i mean can we still mentally process it uh, and you know what effect does it cause hallucinations you know mass hallucinations uh, I, I mean you know i, I don't discount what, what what people are experiencing out there but uh Folks, I haven't seen this stuff. Ilion hasn't seen this stuff. Uh, we, we have seen a lot of wacky people uh, with pretty crazy ideas. But beyond that, there hasn't been anything that I would consider, you know, earth shattering or uh, something that I'm going to sit and freak out about. You know, so, and, you know, here, here, here again. You know, we're talking about perhaps, uh, a, you know, different types, different ways people uh, view reality actually merging together, coming in contact with one another and, you know, not being congruent. And, uh, you know, maybe the universe simulation is trying to adjust for two different parallel universes. And perhaps the anomalies that we see are, are just simply it making a mistake where, you know, you really can't. You, you, it really can't fix that. Like, say, for instance, if Mandela had died in, in and I don't know what date it was, I think it was like 91. If Mandela had died in 91 uh, in one universe and, and, and perhaps in another universe uh, he's still alive, you know, how, how do you reconcile that? You know, how, how do you reconcile that without, you know, drastically, uh, you know, affecting somebody's life experience? Um, I don't know if you can. I don't know if the simulation can. And although there may be elements of the simulation itself that maintain the integrity of, of, of the information, uh, um, you know, we're talking about consciousness here, and we're talking about different facets of consciousness, and, you know, maybe it makes a mistake. Maybe it blows it. Um, you know, I don't know. And ultimately, I'm not going to freak out about it. I mean... You know, what if, you know, everybody is saying, well, you know, CERN is, you know, uh, you know, they're, <clears throat> they're releasing, you know, these enormous energies and, you know, it, it may have, you know, broken the universe. I know somebody out there is, is saying that. And, and there's others that are saying that, you know, they've, they've opened a portal to hell. <laughs> I don't know. It seems to me that they might have opened a portal to heaven. <laughs> I don't think we truly appreciate our situation. <laughs> so, uh, you know, maybe they opened a portal to heaven and, you know, <laughs> and, and we're the demons that are infecting somebody else's universe. <laughs> you know, certainly, uh, you know, we, we don't have it together. This, this, this melding, this, this, 
you know, I, I, I think what we do is, uh, is we, we simply don't panic. Uh, I, I know I, I've seen some enormous amounts of emotional energy being exhibited on that, on, on this. And, you know, I, I understand that there are people that are afraid to death and they haven't actually sorted that out for themselves. Uh, but, you know, hey, you're not dead yet. Just relax. Um, I, I think you have, you know, more to worry about uh, when you don't pay attention to what you're doing. Um, you know, you can cut yourself, uh, you can die from an infection, you know, cutting onions or uh, tomatoes, uh, you know, for dinner. I, I, I mean, you know, if you want to worry about stuff, there's plenty of stuff to worry about. You know, uh, that, that's, that's not compelling. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not, it, it's not something that, 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 you know, personally, I, I, I devote a lot of energy to. I'm not, I'm not really afraid of dying. I mean, this is a show. I mean, uh, so far, it's become a very interesting show. Uh, the, the interesting thing about this show and the interesting thing about what's going on right now is things have become very flexible and very malleable. They're not nearly as rigid as they used to be. There, there is some flexibility in the in the simulation, and you know what? I I, I think it, it, with that flexibility comes a, a, a degree of uh, opportunity. Um, so, you know that that that's how I see it. I I, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. I, I don't look at change as being a bad thing. Um, you know, I, I know people. There are some people are really terrified. Things are, are really unknown. Um, you know, financial situation. You know, the you know central bankers have have a problem. I mean, and and it's a huge problem. It's called uh, mathematics, um, and you know, for them, that, it's a fairly rigid regimen, and um, it's unforgiving. And uh, um, but you know, here here again, apparently, some people have a different idea of mathematics. Uh, I, I guess mathematics works differently for them. And you know, again, we're getting to a point where you know, we've got a degree of relativism here, and we have ha have no means by which we can, you know, significantly establish a common ground. Um, but no matter what it is, I mean, no matter what it is, uh, we seem to figure out ways of uh, creating conflict and hurting one another uh, over it. So, uh, you know, um, I, I, I don't know how long we're going to do that before we, you know, get tired of it um, I could probably you know uh, not, not use any more uh, you know that that's that but that's a personal preference you know I, I, I say well let, let, let's let's maybe meld in a f few more universes and, and, and totally mess things up um, you know uh, maybe maybe that's the answer M maybe it's not a matter of uh, of a grounding, maybe what we need is to be pushed off of our grounding. You know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe perhaps, uh, you know, 30,000 years of continual warfare and conflict uh, is a good play, uh, is a good position to be pushed off of um, this, this conflict, this, this fighting over identity, this inability to communicate, this inability to have any kind of, you know, meaningful interaction other than you know beating one another over the head with a with a club perhaps that's something that yeah that, that would actually work work out for us if we just s sort of stop that and maybe maybe that's maybe a destabilization of that is it, it, it is in order because uh, uh, you know I, I, I don't like the fact that there are people that that define that as normal any more than I like the fact that there are people uh, trying to convince us all that eating one another is actually okay. Um, uh, I, I don't. I don't think cannibalism is uh, is okay. Um, not personally. I mean, you know, if you, I'm not a a, a rule guy in in, in, in that respect. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, not to any huge extent. But you know. The, there are principles that uh, that you know. One, I I, I I just don't want to be eaten by other people, um, um, and you know, consequently, I don't want 
uh, uh, you know, I, I have no desire of eating other people. I, I, you know, because, you know, generally people have to die in order for that to happen, uh, generally. Um, but, uh, you know, so, uh, some of this, you know, some of these, some of these different, uh, quote unquote, lifestyles, uh, you know, I, I you know, I don't want to come off as being crude, but, you know, hey, it don't work for me. Um, and, you know, I, I don't think I have to a actually be subjected to it, or I don't think I have to, you know, necessarily agree or, or want it in my environment. Uh, and and the, the idea that somehow, uh, you know, if I don't agree that I, I, I need to have that force on me, um, yeah. I, I, I consider that a violation of my rights. Um, you know, I, I just, you know, if you, if you want to get weird, you know, do it with people's consent and, and, and do it someplace where I don't need to uh, be subject to it. I mean, I, I don't pressure anybody uh, into accepting, uh, you know, what I define as, uh, as acceptable, uh, you know. I, I, I don't, and I, I don't expect, and, and I expect not to be pressured into anything else. Um, that, that I, you know, I'm just not, just not up for. I mean, you know, I don't judge people in that in that respect. You know, if you want to, you know, whatever you want to do, you're consenting. I mean, the law doesn't compel performance. Have, have at it. Um, I, I, I do. I, I do, however, uh, uh, draw the line when when those those behaviors forcibly uh, in, in infringe on somebody else's rights. Um, yeah, I think that is a, that that is truly a violation of the social contract, and I think it really uh, uh, it really threatens civilization as a whole. As a whole, uh, you have to have some sort of reasonable um, reasonable agreement in order to maintain civilization. If 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 you have because it doesn't really mix, you know, people who think it's okay to kill people and people who don't think it's okay to kill people, uh, they should be mixing together. And you certainly can't establish a civilization based on that. I, I mean, quite frankly, uh, those folks that think killing is great, you can form your own club and your own civilization, and you can do that over there, uh, you know, by yourself. Uh, and then the people who don't feel that that's uh, okay, they, they can create their own civilization, but there doesn't need to be some sort of worldwide consensus, some sort of leveling and saying, hey, you know, uh, you know, what's good for these, these guys here that like to drill holes in their head, you know, that everybody needs to drill holes in their head. You know, I don't believe that. I, I, I thought that that was what was kind of interesting about the whole construct of, of the United States Republic in that, you know, if you didn't like uh, the particular... Um, you know, behaviors and, and acceptable, uh, uh, you know, societal, uh, you know, construct within within one of the union states. Well, y you could move or go someplace else where, where it was acceptable. I, I, I think it was really dangerous when we started looking at federalism, where we started unifying, you know, all of this stuff and saying, oh, okay, yeah, it, it's all going to be this way. Um, and, and we shouldn't be surprised where we go and travel now uh, across the United States and everything looks the same. I mean, there's no variety anymore. Uh, there's just the same kind of behaviors, the same kind of things you see, and, 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 and the same choices and, 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 and fewer of them. So, you know, hey, um, you know, uh, of course, there, there are areas where, you know, hey, it's pretty rough. Um, you know, some of the people don't like it, but now, I mean, you know, w what are we going to do? We're going to make everything like that? You know, there's no mom and pop shops anymore. It's all franchises. They all look the same. They all, they all march like robots. You know, where, where, where's the nice quaint little town with, with, with all of the small little businesses, you know, that's serving the community and, you know, everybody just helping out one another. And that goes away. You know, but, you know uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't, I can't see how everybody is on board with this mechanization of, of, of our lives. Where, where's the organic, natural? 
where's the spontaneity? Where's the, oh, hey, hey, that guy's got a blue house. Oh, yeah, some people say, hey, yeah, that's cool. It stands out. I think it's aesthetic. Other people say, yeah, I think it sucks. That's a hideous thing. But, you know, hey, those are personal preferences. You know, am I going to tell this guy, hey, man, your house really shouldn't be blue because, you know, it's reducing my, uh, uh, the, the value of my house. So what? Your house has no value anyway. It's overvalued in the first place. Uh, you know, and, and pretty soon central banking is going to put you upside down on it and, and run you out of it anyway. Certainly if you haven't paid your mortgage off. You know, they got the death grip. You know, so, I, you know, when, when do we get together and say, hey, okay, let's let's renegotiate the contract. Let's, let, let's look and say, hey, you know, we have elements in our society that are incongruent. There are types of people, and there's a variety of people, that leveling and and unifying isn't isn't going to work because they're you know, I mean it's you all know, yeah hey let's mix the Christians and the Satanists together. Yeah, I mean that's got to work. You know, and we, I mean, look at the conflict. There. I mean, these are people that have completely different views of everything, you know, and they're not congruent. Does that mean that, uh, that does that mean, you know, there, there should be enough? There, there's enough here to where we could uh, literally create separate societies and we don't have to unify uh, something like that, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, perhaps that's what's going on. Perhaps we're going to. We're, we're spinning off another universe where different people who have different ideas on, on, on their lives and their lifestyles, they, they, they can go into an alternative universe and, and be there, you know. Or, you know, hey, quite frankly, if you don't like what I say, hey, I'm, you know, just spin me off a universe and I'll, I'll, I'll go head out. Maybe that's what's happening right now. You know, we certainly have lost the capacity to even talk about it. You know, we look at, you know, geopolitics, you know, the fact that, you know, suddenly, you know, uh, uh, Vladimir Putin is this evil guy. Well, he only became the evil guy, of course, when, when he started resisting this pressure to unify, uh, you know, world government and to unify behaviors and set standards for everything. I mean, you know, there are certain people that have this laundry list of different rules just to throw their trash out. It, it shouldn't be that hard. And, and for those people that need those rules, um, okay, that's fine. Uh, but, you know, some people shouldn't have to be subjected to that nonsense. But, you know, no matter what happens, you turn your head right, it's like 20 bucks. Turn your head left, it's 20 bucks. And, you know, the only difference between... Uh, between now and 30 years ago, it was, well, you turn your head back then, it was five bucks, and, and now it's like 20. And, you know, maybe maybe next week it'll be a hundred dollars, you know, or 10 trillion dollars if we go the route of Zimbabwe. And I don't think there's much if on that. I, uh, I think there's, you know, due to the magic of mathematics, uh, I think there's a, 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 I think it's well within striking distance. And I think, you know, it might need to happen. If, if you design a system that's designed to fail, yeah, okay. But, well, well, it's got to fail. So I'm just hanging out in the back with chicken. Chicken! I don't know. Some lack of goodness. So, but, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll do these uh, videos now here with, uh, you know, less, uh, less form and uh, more open, more free, you know, so we can just kick back and hang out and talk, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that there, uh, you know, I, you can't be here, I mean, you can sit over here and we can just have a beer and, and talk, it probably be real cool, but, you know, if you can't do that, you know, is this the next best thing? You know, I don't know. You know do, do people even listen enough to, to care? You know? This is uh, perhaps more so, you know, my journal about my experience, uh, and, and you know, I, whether or not it's important to other people, 
it, it is important to me. It's important to me to make sure that, you know, hey, I, I can at least see where I've been. You know, I can look at this video and, you know, 10 years from now, maybe, and, uh, and, and say, hey, wow, you know, look at that hair, man. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with that dude? You know? so, but that's, that's it. So, you folks, hey, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you again soon, all right? So, you, you just take care and have fun, all right? Mm. Bye. Thank you.